Well, hello, my YouTube friends. So I know not everybody has a uh, three-quarter inch thick, 50-year-old piece of glass in their home, but I do. <laughs> so anyway, and I'm using this glass table, this ginormous glass coffee table. And yes, I made the stand for it because the original one was uh, damaged. It's This glass table is the flattest surface that I have in my house. And that's important because I want this frame to be as flat as possible. Now, while I was cutting it on the table saw and such, I was using this the back of it. I was keying off the back of it. Right, and you can see right here where I cut an angle into it. So, but this part right here, all my cuts are based on this flat surface right here. And you can see it still has some of the uh, the marks from the planer. And then my other surface was this edge right here. So when it was square, I had this edge or this surface and this surface. Those are my key surfaces that I worked from. And right now I want this groove right here where the glass goes and then the, the backing paper and all that. So this is very important right now. This is the most important. So I want this clamp flat, right? I don't want one of them like higher than the rest, throwing the, the frame out of whack. So I want the frame flat and because I'm keying off the back of it I want you can hear it you can barely see it so as I clamp it and tighten it I'm going to push down right here and, and not let it rest on that other surface but on that back surface and that will ensure that whatever the front looks like and the side that the part where the glass goes is flat so i'm going to put some glue on it and i'm just using uh, elmer's wood glue new stronger formula so i'm going to put glue on both sides smear it you know it'll be drying as i do that i'll have to work fast I'll wipe the excess with this wet cloth. I'll wipe my fingers with this wet cloth. And I'll put it in there as I clamp it. I'll push down right there. I'll make sure that it's lining up right here in the middle so that when it comes out, there'll be a flat inner surface for the glass to seat on. And then the rest of it, I can sand or trim or whatever, whatever happens on the outside is less important than that groove right there that the glass sits in. And once I get it glued, I'll let it sit cure for 24 hours in the clamp. And then I'll uh, take it out, do some final sanding, and send it on its way. All right, my friends, hold on. Okay, so I got it clamped. And you can see I wiped off the glue that squeezed out with this wet cloth and if you look down here at, at the aluminum bracket i'm able to push down and make sure that those are equal height i can do that at all four corners and a little bit of oil grease a little bit of glue came out right there and i do that at all four corners and that guarantees or hopefully that helps the frame stay flat because everything's pushing down on the glass so the back side of it will be nice and flat and then a little final sanding afterwards and I still have to uh, drill and add a screw right here to strengthen it excuse me since i'm not using those 
L-shaped brackets on the reverse. But I'll let this cure for 24 hours. And then I'll take it out of the front, out of the bracket, out of the clamp. And we'll see how I did. We'll look at both of them at the same time. This is the second one. So, all right, my friends, you have a good day.